So it's uh, June 25th at 6.27 in the morning. It's 56 degrees. <coughs> Sun rises at 4.44 and sun sets at 8.24, which is, sounds the same as yesterday and the day before. The uh, sun is slowly moving south a couple of seconds. So it could be the same time tomorrow, but we'll see. Anyway, <clears throat> what am I forgetting? Oh, there's a hair. this guy over here? Fine. Oh, he's the one you saw in the bedroom, huh? He's his darker color when he was standing by the window for 10 minutes watching that guy. Fine. Fine. No. No. Look at this guy over here. Fine. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. No. 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 Flynn. Be a good boy. No. 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 Cute little bunny, huh? Flynn. No. <coughs> He's really interested in this guy. Anyway. <sighs> Rained again yesterday. Gonna have to cut the grass again soon. What are we, 12 days? We've done on the uh, 31st and uh, 13th. We got two weeks. Anyway, <clears throat> we won't be able to see go up the driver here with the sun beating on the net, reflecting on the net. Yep, can't see the damn thing. Mm -mm. Uh, I did uh, run over to the town office last night. I was here at, uh, I guess, 4.30. They opened at 5, 5 to 7 on Mondays to uh, register the two ATVs side by side and the motorcycle. Uh, for some reason, they don't have the motorcycle stickers there. Uh, but I registered it anyway, so I'm going to call me when they're in. <coughs> so, $83 for motorcycle insurance. That's for a year. Basic coverage. And uh, three times 75 for the ATVs and side by side. So that was what, 225? And then uh, 31, 41. 41 for the uh, motorcycle. So it was $266. The words are the four things, and uh, $83 for 
for the uh, insurance, so it's $350 nut. <coughs> it's all there. Charge more to register an ATV than they do to register a car or a uh, motorcycle truck. Because they supposedly take part of that money and give it to uh, some, uh, uh, ATV clubs. <coughs> now there is an ATV club over in uh, Lee. It's called Jefferson Backcountry Riders. And they maintain the trails down there, but they don't maintain any trails up here. Actually, there are no trails up here. There's a snowmobile trail, there's <coughs> Skillinger Road. <coughs> North Road and Tar Ridge are ATB access roads. Uh, Tar Ridge, you take that down to the end. Head north on uh, 170, 170 for a couple hundred feet. Turn left onto uh, Tucker Ridge. That's another ATB access road. <coughs> we can ride that down a little bit. Jump onto 169 for Another couple hundred feet, and there's a trail down there, a snowmobile trail. That'll take you into, uh, and actually an ATV trail too. That'll take you into Lee. <coughs> or across 169 to uh, go through Smith's, then uh, up Shep Road. And then this trail's back there. Take it down to uh, Sisalopsis, Duck Lake, Hollow Lake. <coughs> so, I go out to the, uh, the barn a little bit. Put the ATV stickers on for 24-25. <coughs> but nothing to show up with a motorcycle until they cross Texas or whatever. Yeah, let's see, we have some potholes starting here. Two weeks ago, I bought uh, something called OBD Link MX. It's a uh, ODB2 dongle and an app on your phone or your tablet that lets you interface with the computer on the car, truck, whatever. <coughs> I've had a problem for years with the uh, freeway cooling valve on the truck. That randomly it'll just stick. Throw a check in your light code. P26AB. It happens frequently enough that I know the code off the top of my head. <coughs> oh, the battery on the uh, high res might die. I forgot to charge it, but back to the ODB link. Um, apparently, there's codes, some sort of standard for the ODB2 interface, that uh, certain codes can't be cleared by the device. 
And unfortunately, the P26AB can't be cleared. Now it clears itself after five or six starts. <coughs> I think I told you about this before. The valve itself is 350 bucks. And probably another couple hundred to install it. So I'll live with it the way it is. The uh, only downside of that check engine light is in the middle of the winter when it's 30 degrees below zero. If you want to remotely start your truck, if that code is in there, it won't let you remotely start the truck. <sighs> well, it is Tuesday. club for sewing, but she said she wasn't sure whether she was going today. I don't know what's up with that. <clears throat> well, the, uh, back to the OBD link. I contacted support and they said that the, that there was a told me that there's a standard that they can't clear certain codes. And uh, for a fact, I'm saying that I had known that, or if that product had said that, I wouldn't have bought it. And they were nice enough. They told me I could keep it, and they kicked back the purchase price. So I stole the truck. I had it hooked up to. Uh, my iPad Mini 4 or my Galaxy S22, S23, whatever it is. And it shows me the uh, turbo boost. It shows me fuel usage, shows me uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, that's just a toy at this point, it's not a tool. Big dinner last night with more steak trimmings. So I expect him to uh, take care of business up here. Feels hotter than 56, I'd say. Going to and coming back from the town. Oh, mile and a half from the house up the hill. There's a uh, place where the, the culvert had collapsed and they replaced it. And then uh, years later, they threw some, they did a shitty job putting uh, hot top macadam on top, but so it's still a bump. But anyway, gone up the hill and there were some birds. I thought they were sparrows, but they turned out to be uh, turkey chicks. There were six of them and I didn't see anything else. And on the way back, they were out there again. And this time the, uh, the hen was with them. And they uh, strode off the road into the woods there. They stood there for a while. I got tired. I, I shut the truck off. <coughs> Sat there in the middle of the road. Wanted to get back out. 
Ja, die Regen. Let's go. Back to the house, come on. Come on, you know. You know the limits. <clears throat> the uh, power company here is uh, Eastern Maine Electric Co-op. So, the co-op all its members are on a piece of the company. And we have a uh, board of directors. And today is the annual meeting We you vote for your directors. So the Springfield Fairground from, uh, I think, 10 o'clock. Could be wrong. <clears throat> you can vote for somebody who's running for director. I uh, personally know, I think there's a district eight. I personally know the director. He's a Marine from I think he was served in Desert Storm. <coughs> Lives over on Brown Road. Nice guy. Well, most people appear nice. <coughs> getting bitten on top of the head. Definitely getting bitten through the hat. Well, I think it's pretty hard to do. <clears throat> I'd be really surprised if this high-res camera lasts all the way back to the house. I did put it on charge for 10 minutes this morning, but normally I so I'll try to get right after I take the chip out of it. I don't know how long it takes to charge. So I leave it plugged in for 22 hours. Come on, come on. Uh, well, come on.
Okay, 25th. Two more days until the presidential debate. It's a really, really a farce because it's on CNN and uh, Jim Acosta is going to be the uh, <coughs> mediator. And he, uh, he absolutely has a bias against Trump. I don't know why Trump agreed to uh, go on CNN because he knew it would be a farce. <coughs> In fact, uh, <coughs> when Trump, Trump's administration or campaign folk were uh, being interviewed by CNN, I can't remember the woman's name who was doing the interviewing, and uh, Trump's person was trying to bring up the fact that Acosta has a bias against Trump, and she actually had uh, the producers shut their feet off, wouldn't let her talk. I think she said something like that. The, you have to respect my uh, associates, I think. I don't know. She actually shut down the interview because she didn't want to hear the truth. <clears throat> I, don't, I, mean, I guarantee it's going to be just like 2016 where Donna Brazil, who was on the DNC, supplied Hillary Clinton with the uh, debate questions to prepare for it. <clears throat> I'm sure CNN has fed the questions to, uh, to Biden. And Biden has been uh, hiding away. Being uh, Coach on how to do the uh, the debate. <clears throat> I watched a YouTube video. Uh, actually, I should follow the channel. Lot of router. And uh, apparently CNN had put together a, uh, a montage of 30, I think they called 30 lies, of Trump and Stephen Crowder debunked everything they called a lie. <coughs> and the nice thing about Crowder is everything that he says he put supporting material on his website so people can fact check him. Well, this camera still there. And Flynn hasn't taken care of this, which is a surprise. He hasn't even tried. So I might get to 86 today. I can believe it. <clears throat> I don't think it made 70 yesterday. Well, normally, if you're wearing a nice short sleeve shirt, make some shorts. 
probably a good idea of flies. We can't do that here. <clears throat> that hair is hiding out over there. And flies in the high grass. Thanks for watching. That wraps up for today.